All right, uh, welcome to Introduction to Oracle Application Express. Uh, this is module one of 20, and this is just a general Apex overview. It's kind of, you know, what Apex is, a little bit about the architecture, uh, but mostly kind of what you're signing up for uh, when you say that you want to build an Apex application. Uh, so what is Apex? Uh, so Apex is a complete web-based RAD environment, a rapid application development environment. And um, I just want to point out that I think Apex does a pretty good job at achieving that acronym. I've, I've heard the term RAD used about uh, in, in the sense of rapid application development uh, to other frameworks. Uh, and I don't necessarily think they are. Caveat to that that I want to add is while Apex will allow you to build applications in a very declarative approach, just saying, I want, a I want a page and I want to put a report on that page. I'd like a form to update this table. It also allows for Apex will completely hand over the controls to you. Uh, so if you really need to go in and write that custom PL SQL and you have, you know, just very custom, uh, maybe you already have a bunch of packages that do all your uh, CRUD operations and have all your business logic. Well, you can very easily integrate those packages. So uh, while Apex will do everything for you, it also uh, is you're very, it's very capable of uh, handing over control to you and say, oh, you want to do it this way? Well, then sure, have at it. Now, you always want to have some sort of web uh, or sorry, some sort of database tool to supplement your Apex development. Uh, but I would say in a production environment, uh, you're definitely going to want, you definitely want to have something like SQL Developer or Toad. Uh, Apex is data centric. So if you plan on building um, a static application that doesn't really read anything from a database, then you, you probably don't want Apex. You, you probably, um, you can maybe just write that static page yourself. Now, Apex can do that, but where Apex really shines is when you have lots of rows, you have lots of data that you want to manipulate and share, right? So, uh, and one of the strongest use cases for Apex, um, and actually, I, I would say it has provided lots of work for me over the years, uh, lots of consulting hours, is when uh, some uh, department in your organization, maybe they have an Excel spreadsheet uh, that they're using to kind of track something or, or deal with something. Uh, it becomes popular and then you, where only one person was looking at it, now you have two, three, four, five people trying to kind of use this Excel spreadsheet to handle some sort of business need and that's just not good. It's not designed for multiple users so that's where um, I've done a lot of work in Apex is converting kind of these Excel spreadsheet or con converting access applications that have outgrown the, their capacity uh, kind of into Apex. Another one of the great things about Apex is that it runs uh, pretty much in, uh, entirely in the database. So as you upgrade your database, you inherently upgrade Apex. So um, as the database gets more features, so does Apex. So that's a wonderful thing. And kind of the same thing can be uh, said about the web. In other words, Apex is generating a web page or uh, the Apex framework generates web pages. So as browsers get better, uh, Apex inherently becomes better. So that's two kind of great things that Apex have going for it. Um, and that's kind of one of the reasons uh, why we see uh, lots of developers shifting from using forms uh, to going to taking the web-based approach that Apex provides. Apex is incredibly declarative. Uh, you can build some very powerful applications without writing a single line of code. Um, and so you can say, I want this form here. I want this uh, report here. Um, I want it to query these records. Uh, maybe you can provide your own query. Uh, or maybe you can use the query builder and kind of pick your own, kind of pick the columns and tables and Apex will connect the dots for you. I will say that while Apex does provide many declarative features, as you become more of um, a seasoned Apex developer, you definitely will start to uh, develop your own practices that you like to use. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, you like to have, uh, you know, your PL SQL a certain way or something, and, and you just have kind of your standard operating procedures to augment what Apex provides for you.